Oh dear. This is uh, not what we want to see. This is not what we want to see. We got two cars, two cars off here. Fortunately, they are loaded. Didn't roll over on the side. But I don't know what happened here. Uh, gotta go. They just called me out my day off, and I got called out. It's like <laughs> uh, we uh, we've got a mess here, a huge mess. This is uh, this is going to take a lot of work. Halter's got the call in. And uh, we'll see where, but I've got over a quarter mile of track tore up. Absolutely tore up. Wow. Ties are all busted up. Rails rolled over all the way up there. The locomotives are on the ground up there. All six wheels are on the ground. This is an absolute mess. Wow, this is uh, going to have to be, contractor's going to be in here working all night on this and probably most of the next day. And then it's going to have to get tamped. <laughs> wow, this is a, a really unfortunate accident. I, I don't know what happened. I'm going to head up here to the locomotive and see what's behind the locomotive. Uh, this, is, this was a pretty good section of track too. It really surprised me when they called and said it was up here. We're at uh, now post four. Now we're heading back, uh, head eastbound with loads. And uh, train went into emergency when the locomotive uh, uncoupled. Whatever happened up there. So, like I said, I don't know what's what's going on up there. Yeah, I'm headed up that way. But uh, it's going to be a long night for a lot of guys. Halter won't be having too bad of a job with just two cars to put back on. And then uh, the locomotive. It's going to be getting all this track back in service. We may, be, we may be two days before this track gets back in service. Um, golly, yeah, where do you start? Where do you start? And I shoved this track all the way over. Look, look how far it shoved this track over. A good foot over over that way. So this is all going to have to get lined back into place. Wow. Okay. Um, wow. All right, I'm heading up here and uh, seeing what's going on up here. Okay. <laughs> well, we're back here again show you some of this tour up track with the uh and those two cars are off down there uh we can see how wide this this is rails all rolled over wow what an absolute mess what an absolute mess this is ties are tore up so somebody's gonna this uh gonna have to get some contractors in here with some a lot of equipment get this track back in service we might be a couple days before this gets back depends on how many guys they bring out <laughs> wow i don't know what happened yet i'm heading up here and see what's uh what's going on behind one locomotive when i get up behind the locomotive then i'll know uh then i'll know probably know what caused this but this was really a pretty decent uh section of track in here really surprised me when they called and said uh, it was up here mile post four wow okay it's heading back with loads lucky those uh, two loads down there didn't roll over this is destruction <laughs> yeah oh i'm my i'm not the wow okay just ugly all right i gotta get off of here and see what's going on up above Okay, we're back at the derailment again. This is uh, all that roll over the rail over there for a quarter mile or more is rolled over. This one's on the ground. All six wheels are on the ground. Goodness gracious sakes alive.
don't know what happened yet. I think it come off up here in this curve. It's a pretty sharp degree curve. Wow, he's out. Look how far over that is. Unbelievable. Of course, this rail here shoved over. You can see where the tie plates were, where it was. But my goodness gracious. It's been a long, long, long time since we had something major like this happen. This is a... Uh, Yeah. Wow, I can't even remember when the last time we had something like this bad, like this happened. 18 years I've been track maintenance full time, and uh, this is the first, the first derailment like this we've had since in that time. Okay, let's go up here in the curve and let's see what we can find out happened up here in the curve. Like whole rails rolled over. All righty. I'll be back in touch. Okay, well, we figured out what happened here on our derailment. But, uh, we're here on curve 18. And uh, what happened was, for some odd reason, when the train came around this curve, it just started lifting the rail up, pushing, I guess, against the outside of the rail. And it just started lifting the, the, the spikes. And, uh, right, right in here is where I started lifting the spikes up. Um, this is really puzzling. This is really, really puzzling to me because th this is these we got good ties in here. These are not junky, rotten ties. These are really decent ties. Uh, they've been in here for a while, but there's good drainage in here, and uh, really puzzles me why why it just started pulling these spikes up. So anyway, uh, this is where it started. Our derailment started right here. We've got uh, phone calls in. There's uh, halters on their way. We've got a couple railroad contractors on their way. We've got well over, uh, probably close to 1,200 feet of track tore up. This whole rail over here is rolled over on its side. Um, ugly. I said this is a this is a rare, very rare occurrence for us here. All these all these ties are decent. It just uh, once it starts, it just perpetual motion. It just roll it. Of course, I told you, showed you before that uh, locomotives got all six wheels on the ground. There's two car, two loaded cars off on the ground. They're not on their sides. They're still upright, so that's good. Here's another. This rail's going to have to get replaced. Got a broken base in there. Look at that. So uh, the sticker rail is going to have to come out. That's uh, we can't have that either. So uh, there's going to be uh, <laughs> these guys going to have a long night and a long day, and that much track. It just depends on how many people they can get out here and how much equipment they can get out here. Uh, it may be a couple days. Okay, uh, I got to go. I got to get off of here and uh, get some more stuff done. This uh, super elevation stayed in this curve. I just tamped it there a couple weeks ago. It wasn't super elevation, it was good, but anyway, I'm off.